Crowcoin is currently crashing exactly as we have predicted on the channel, given where these crypto markets are currently at. But today, the Kronos team actually did retweet a recent partnership that they had with Amazon Web Services that I want to share with you guys today. Go over the impact that this tweet and this partnership will have on the Kronos ecosystem and the CRO token into the next bull run, folks. If you guys like this kind of content, we're going to take a peek at the charts, get into the story on this one, guys. Tap that like button, subscribe to the channel. Let's get right in. Bitcoin today down to $26,700, Ethereum below $1,600. We are coming down a little bit. Markets are turbulent for crypto. We were thinking about October, not quite panning out that way so far, almost halfway through the month. The Crow coin, however, earlier did hit 4.8 cents, still a $1.2 billion market cap, rank number five, rebranded from crypto.com token to the Kronos token to promote this massive chain that they launched back in 2021, right before we came into a bear market. And they are one of the 10th biggest chains out there in crypto, the Kronos chain. Recently, actually back in April, they announced a partnership with Amazon Web Services. Now today, they retweeted that partnership and said this, our partnership with Amazon Web Services startup will help teams in the upcoming Kronos Accelerator cohort boost their growth. Teams can now leverage the full breadth of AWS infrastructure and services, including AWS cloud credits, office hours, and mentorship. They add more details back from when they announced this partnership. This was big news. The Kronos community was very excited about it. And this is a reminder that this is still here. You're talking about a bear market and, and what are people doing to build in this bear market? The retweeting this right now was a reminder. They are still building. Just yesterday, they chose to retweet their Google Cloud web services thing. It's doing two things here, guys. Reminding people how big these partnerships are for Kronos. Absolutely. Two, they're promoting their core cohorts and accelerator programs to not only draw developers in, but draw developers in to use these awesome tools like the Google Cloud, like the Amazon Web Services tools. So guys, this is very, very good to see if you are a CRO holder. In the meantime, of course, the price action is doing this. Actually, right now, according to this chart right here, we are at 4.8 cents, guys, and I have had this little circle drawn for a while, right at about 3.3 cents, guys. You look historically at Crow versus the US dollar right here, guys. We are on the weekly time frames, and you will see there is some resistance right here. Could we fall lower than that? It's possible. I say it's highly unlikely. I think we're going to continue to make high, uh, lower, higher lows, higher lows as Crow goes on over time because. Binance is obviously one of the main competitors for this. I feel like crypto.com compliance and regulation wise is taking a step up this year during this bear market as we move into the bull market. They're going to be an even more fierce competitor. I think this token continues to climb and starts to compete with the likes of Binance. But in the meantime, this is falling exactly as we predicted, guys. Now, my partner on the channel, Black Sea, believes that maybe it comes to about 4.5 cents at its low. I'm going to add that line in right now, just so it's there for the future. But I think that a 3.3 cent crow is on the table. And if you look in the past and see times where we've kind of came down super fast, that was one big weekly red candle. And then we had one, two, three, four. This is like 20 weekly green candles in a row. Can you imagine uh, all the way from... I mean, yeah, this is like 25, maybe 30 weekly green candles in a row, which was crazy, but that can come, guys. We just need to see this bottom take place first. We need to see Kronos continue to build, continue to promote their accelerator programs, and continue to draw developers into the Kronos chain, which I think they're going to continue to do. They've certainly got the marketing efforts for it. They've got a great social media presence, and the Crow fam is stronger than ever, even despite the downward action we're getting on CRO right now. And the fact that we're in a bear market, folks. When the Bitcoin halving comes, I will once again start to get bullish on altcoins. We're just not there yet. I do think, however, if you like altcoins, we could be looking at some very, very low accumulation opportunities soon. And we'll keep you posted on it here at the Crypto Report. That's all I got for you in this one. I'm Crypto Kip. This is the Crypto Report. Don't forget to smash up the like button. Subscribe to the channel for more crypto content. And as always, folks, you got to remember to DCA, HODL. And we'll see you in the next one. Thanks, everybody. Have a great night. 
Got two videos for you right here if you want to check them out. Peace.